Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. Through this channel, I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the million dollar challenge. If anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing. So the objective is to try to get 201 trades, each with an average return of 3.5%. It's not 201 consecutive trades, we do take into account losses. So for further details about how to join us for a little as $9 a month or less than $9 a month, information is available in the description below. In the previous video, we looked at MMTLP and the focus is on looking at legal implications for the brokers, hedge funds and uh, for the market makers as well. So uh, what we are going to do in today's video is follow up on that and uh, look at some developments with regard to fidelity and also look at some uh, continuous uh, follow on from yesterday's video as well. So let's start by having a look at some uh, developments with regard to fidelity and what we can see here. There was a post shared on Reddit. So let's have a look at the uh, post here and it states here from fidelity. Uh, today physical certificates were confirmed to be received by the DCC from the transfer agent AST uh, and to expedite the process for our customers Fidelity worked closely with the DTC and is now in possession of the physical certificate uh, so notice the word certificate but not the word certificates and uh, it's not plural so it certainly seems to indicate that it's for one particular individual or one particular investor and it goes on to say <clears throat> We will now start allocating shares to customer accounts when now they've gone plural and to expect to uh, complete this by end of day today. So um, th this was stated on 29th, so we're at 30th today. Uh, so we'll have to see if there is any follow up update on that uh, and uh, let's wait and see. And they've also said here, and there's some developments with regard to QSIP numbers, customers who held QSIP 59199-4371 will now have and a different QSIP and the QSIP now is uh, 78699D491 in their account. This new QSIP number is unique uh, to Fidelity since the company did not file for an industry QSIP. So this will differ from firm to firm. So again, interesting development here. Uh, what they've also confirmed is Nextbridge Hydrocarbons will not be a publicly traded company. I think we already knew that. Uh, customers may continue, uh, continue to hold their position in Fidelity accounts. And what they're now saying is, customer may elect to transfer and ship shares in non-retirement accounts only uh, to be delivered to the transfer agent AST. This may take longer than the traditional uh, DRS transfer because these shares were issued as uh, in physical certificates form. Nextbridge is not eligible for DTT services and electronic movement between Fidelity and the transfer agent AST. Fidelity must send uh, physical stock certificates to and from uh, the transfer agent to complete a, try, uh, a client's request to DRS shares into their name. So this is where I think it becomes a little bit controversial. And uh, what Fidelity are now saying is they're charging $100 per request to cover any expenses associated with the cost to support these types of transactions. So I think this is a little bit uh, cheeky from Fidelity and I hope they can review this $100 charge because I'm, I'm sure many other brokers will not be applying this charge. So this certainly needs to be uh, reviewed. And what they're now saying, since the shares were allocated to custom accounts in the tax year 2022, the event will be reported for 2022. Uh, details will be included on your 2022 tax form as the company provides more information on how the event will be treated for tax purposes. So uh, that's another important thing to bear in mind with regard to what they've said for the tax. So overall, this new uh, QSIP certainly seems to be a little bit suspicious. It also looks to be a, a weak attempt by uh, Fidelity to uh, hide behind another placeholder. There could be other reasons for this. Again, there is speculation whether or not they're getting ready for a grey market. We don't know, but if you do contact Fidelity, you need to obviously certainly ask them further details. Another thing that you could certainly ask is how will they handle voting rights for the shares if Nextbridge calls a shareholder meeting? With proposals, how do we trust that the votes get received by Nextbridge? So you can also ask about future dividends uh, and how they're going to pay them into the Fidelity account. Uh, other things, uh, I remember I said at the beginning, they, they use the word share, but not shares. Uh, and there's also obviously 
uh, information here that it doesn't say they make going to make an attempt on behalf of any third party to purchase this security uh, and again uh, no confirmation with regard to the grey market as of yet and finally a quick follow-up from yesterday's video so on the screen here you'll be able to see 10 uh, legal issues that we identified that could affect hedge fund brokers and FINRA uh, so two more were added on from people who stated that we could also look at potential market manipulation again from the market makers and also allegations of insider trading so we're looking at potential uh, insider training bet trading between the brokers and the hedge funds and we know uh, the ticker was created uh, without permission of the company so that again could be strong indications of in insider trading uh, for them to obviously profit from insider knowledge as well the next shout out I'd like to give is to Costas who's come up with a very unique and excellent idea uh, for looking at potential reconciliation of shares. So what is stated here, apparently we've, we have uh, approximately 165 million MMTLP Nextbridge hydrocarbon shares. Yes, and these are to be delivered. Uh, and it would be certainly interesting for, for the company to announce a 0 0.0001 cent dividend to all the new shareholders. So um, a tremendous idea here. The cost of the company would be $16,500 to see who holds these shares or not and uh, can this be done quickly so absolutely fantastic idea there by uh, Costas so um, uh, a follow-up to that we can see here John Berda has been made aware of this and his follow-up and he's then exploring this interesting idea so what Costa said is because uh, paying token uh, paying holders uh, that aren't really next bridge hydrocarbon holders is a long-term liability there's no way they will be paying anything out of pocket imagine the day that next bridge is acquired and there are dividends or shares swaps from private to public how will they handle that so this certainly could be a good way to find out what the hell is going on and the next thing I'd like to share with you is uh, with regard to what where we are so far in terms of progress I'm sure many are disappointed in terms of what's happened so far so from what I am I've seen so far we have used them um, uh, the change.org website to campaign we've complained to FINRA we've complained to the brokers uh, obviously we've complained to senators and uh, congress and I think that is still something that's ongoing we have also complained to the SEC we also have a complaint for equitable relief for violation of the Sherman Act this has been done by uh, Rosa as an individual shareholder we know that uh, John Berda and the legal and the team are working behind the scenes with their attorneys on this as well uh, and we also know that we have uh, as, as a team of retail investors approach uh, media outlets and journalists uh, and we know that John Bird also made a, a special appearance as well. Uh, so uh, in further developments, I think what else can we do? So I, from my point of view, one of the things that I stated is I think we need to keep all options open. So until all options have been explored and fully developed, uh, we need to then move on to the next one. So what I'd like to share with you here is the website link for the IRS. Uh, if you are aware of any organization that is uh, involved in suspected tax fraud activity. So if this is covering things like kickbacks, false exemptions, deductions, a false um, or altered document. I'm sure there was false or altered documents, certainly with MMTLP. So if you know anybody involved in that, uh, I, I think the IRS will need to uh, be uh, aware of that. Uh, it's any if you know of any organization that has failed to pay tax uh, if you know of any organization that is uh, f having a failure to withhold tax and also failure to follow the tax law so one of the tax laws is as a short you must close your position and pay tax so if they don't pay if they don't close their uh, short positions they uh, they're certainly avoiding tax so uh, the irs i think they need to know so the other thing is uh, just uh, as a as an, uh, kind of a bonus you can get a reward and a reward here is to help the country help obviously the um, uh, the fiscal um, policy in terms of uh, giving more money to the um, uh, tax revenue for the country as well so fill out form 211 application for award of original information uh, so uh, that is a uh, certainly another thing that we can do and uh, uh, i look forward to seeing you all in the space chat uh, later on today I finally I'd like to finish off by giving a shout out to our daily stock alerts channel in the discord so you'll see here that we initially called the uh, ticker symbols kala on the 29th of november and then we called it on the 28th of december as we saw some excellent news we also called it yesterday um 
we called it today as well so um what i've shared with you on the screen here is a shout out to members in the discord who actually uh, saw this uh, and there were some other stocks that we called uh Kala was uh, one that did exceptionally well i think currently on the week it's up over 500 percent. so congratulations to everybody who got into that so if you would like to get access to our daily stock alerts as well as the weekly stock alerts you can certainly join us for less than nine dollars a month thank you very much for watching please stay tuned